Saxon family. If you don't know who I am, my name is Jeff Saxon. This is my channel and this is my weight loss journey. So make sure to strap on in and get ready for a ride because today guys, we're doing my daily three miles. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, every day I basically tweet out on my Twitter and post on my Instagram, which is by the way, at Jeff Saxon Vlogs, that hey guys, it's time for me to go do my daily three miles. I'll be right back. And honestly, I feel so great after I do these daily threes and I, I just can't keep getting enough so like every day I'm looking forward to do three more miles three more miles three more miles to the point one day where I'll probably be like you know screw it I'm gonna do four then five six seven eight nine ten okay I'm now I'm getting a little crazy or am I but anyways guys it's time to go to the gym it's time to start working out and honestly I'm very excited uh, I don't know how much I'm gonna actually record in the gym obviously I'm gonna show you guys I'm working out that I hit the three miles whatever and so it just depends how many people in there I for some reason I just get nervous recording in a gym I, it's like when people are working out I, I don't know it's just something weird for me anyways with all that being said guys I'm gonna get to the gym I'll see you guys there today guys we got lucky I'm the only one in the gym. Take a look. Like, this is where I work out basically every day. Um, mainly just the treadmill. But yeah, so in the future, you guys will be seeing me use the rest of this gym equipment. Because honestly, I have no clue how in the world uh, most of this works. Well, obviously, I know how that works. 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 Just the weightlifting stuff. I know, you're supposed to pick stuff up and put it down. So we have the gym all to myself today so far and uh, it's time to get a workout in, get my three miles in, and I'm super happy, guys. I don't know why, like, every day since I started doing the three miles, I wake up, I'm like, yo, all right, time to hit the gym, time to go get my three miles in, and honestly, I'm very excited. I guess because when you start doing something so much, it becomes repetition, and repetition is a good thing, so, or it could be a bad thing, but anyway, so, <laughs> it's good to uh, get in that mindset of liking doing three miles every day. So it's time to hit the treadmill and do my daily three. Let's go. Here it is guys, the workout summary for today. 3.4 or 3.04 miles in 54.56 seconds or 54 minutes and 56 seconds, something like that. Just got done, feel really good. Um, I think it's time to go back to the apartment, take a shower, and I'm gonna pick the uh, camera up on talk to you guys about meal prep, everything I've been doing, and uh, today's weigh-in day. So, <laughs> hopefully, like I said earlier, I dropped a couple pounds, because I'll be uh, very happy about that for myself. So I actually just walked back into the door from the gym and uh, I said screw it instead of go take a shower right away. I want to show you guys what I bought for like the week uh, for meal prep and uh, you guys are going to be happy. Trust me, some of the stuff in the fridge though is not mine, it's actually my roommate's. Uh, she buys whatever and I'm trying to uh, eat a little bit healthier, get in shape as you guys know. So starting off guys, I have seven apples for the week, well I have a few left <laughs> for the week. Bananas, got whole wheat bread, shop right band, or bread. In here though, this right, oh, look, that's froze right there. Got another frozen lo or loaf of whole wheat, uh, brown rice, broccoli, and then also grounded turkey. That's all my stuff in the freezer basically there. And uh, we come on down into here. Got a gallon of milk, the rest of the stuff is hers, like I was saying. And this right here, guys, is my basically meals. <laughs> this is the uh, brown rice I got cooked up. Broccoli, and then uh, right down in here, guys, which actually I need to eat for today so far, is my uh, grilled chicken, which you can easily cook on the stove. If you guys want a uh, meal prep video, um, like have me showing you guys how I meal prep and all that now, uh, let me know down below in the comment section, because I honestly will uh, do a meal prep video next time I gotta do meal prep, probably take you guys to the chopper it with me or something, and uh, show you guys just what I got. I basically got all this stuff, for under $50, I know some people are like, yo, dude, that's expensive. Yeah, I know. Um, but the, the trap I realized with going to, let me actually put this in the fridge here. The trap with going to grocery stores, I've been told, and I'm starting to realize myself, is all the healthy stuff is on the outside perimeter, basically, or is on the perimeter of the store on the outside there, and then on the inside is everything else, all the junk and stuff. Uh, so yeah, basically, I'm sticking to just shopping around on the outside of the store to lose all the weight and buy a lot of food. So yeah, I've been eating all that, like I said, got the peanut butter. All today so far I've had was peanut butter and toast and a banana. 
So I feel like I just burnt all those calories, so I'm gonna have to eat a lot of chicken today to uh, get up to a decent amount of calories for the day taking and uh, almost done, done drinking a gallon of water. But yeah, today's weigh in, so I'm excited. Uh, hopefully, I dropped a couple pounds like I've been saying, guys, because I'm doing this for myself. I'm also doing this for you guys to help inspire everybody out there watching this video, knowing, like, hey, you know what? I can do that. I can lose the weight. And you know what, guys? I believe in you guys that you guys can. So. Yeah, I'm gonna go take a shower. I'll be back. So I just got out of the shower and all. I decided to check the YouTube Creator Studio app and I saw these comments which are now posted on the screen and it said, F you fatty, all you do is eat McDonald's. FYI, I didn't want to get censored. And that's for Brad Heat. I don't know, I just found that comment kind of interesting. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to Brad Heath's channel, check out, see if he has the newest video up, and just see if he said anything about me in his video. So for guys, I'm like two minutes and 40 seconds into this video, whatever, and nothing's been said about me, so that's pretty good of a start right now. Let me just turn us up to listen. I just wanna say something. What do you wanna say, before Brad? Before this video, before we get into it, I had this guy call me out on Twitter. Uh, right here, you can see his oh, name hey, that's Jeff me. Saxton Blogs. Um, also known as Swift UAV, kind of ironic since you can Whoa. see. Whoa, when it's happy hour at Dunkin' Donuts, bro? Alright, I kind of give you that, but I'm not going to lie, man. I'm changing for the better. Dunkin' Donuts ain't good for you. Play. He's literally the slowest dude on the planet. I ain't slow. He sucks. <sighs> oh, what the heck? This dude, he had the nerve to call me irrelevant. Whoa, time out. Time out, Brad. I only called you irrelevant on Twitter because you tweeted at me. I think it's only fair at Jeff Saxon Vlogs. Let's get on that rematch card so I can hand you an L with the boxing emoji. Brad, I called you irrelevant after you tweeted that, Brad. So I went and I looked at his channel, you know, as all good he, people he, do. He, he doesn't even and, show like that uh, he tweeted at me? What? I, I just started playing the video again. It just it shows that he did not... Show the tweet that he tweeted at me saying that he should box me. Brad, you are irrelevant. Get over it. You got a shout out from a YouTuber because you're like, what, 5 million subscriber, dude? Like, come on, man. You're irrelevant these days. Oh, well, just continue playing this video. We found, guys. Don't explore Russian War Summer today. Ouija board at Haunted House with Jake Dockner. All good videos. He jumped out of a movie car. Yo, that's my boy Javi right there, man. That's my face. Oh, uh, he's just, he's pathetic. So right pathetic. here, you're hearing it first. <laughs> Jeff Saxton vlogs, I'm calling you out to box in February. Oh, you want to box, you really, You really think that you got it like that? You're on your little weight loss journey? Well, let's do it. Because I tell you what, every bit of weight that you've lost, I see it and it's right in your gut. Brad Heat, every little bit of weight I lost, you see it right in my gut. You want to know why? Because this gut is shrinking, buddy. It's shrinking by the day. And honestly, Brad, if you want to box me, I won't have a problem taking my fist and putting it right in your face, man. Honestly, I'd probably take both my fists, do a nice little, what was it? A three? Wait, hold on. Three, two, three. Some kind of old boxing combo that I don't remember off the top of my head. This is coming from a guy who's doing a Mr. Beast like video. Can 1,000 rolls of toilet paper stop a car? <laughs> Brad, I'm gonna tell you this, man, because you said you're not gonna put your hands by your face and all that. If that's the case, man, and if you're looking to get knocked out in a first round, I mean, take for granted, it'll give me another reason to lose weight, more motivation. So at this point, Brad, I'm gonna accept your boxing match, dude. And I will knock you out in a first round if we get on a rematch card or whatever. Or even if we don't even get on the rematch card, Brad, I'll still box you on the same day, whatever that fight is happening, we'll live stream it, whatever. And I will KO you. Uh, guys, just some people will never learn. They're gonna want to call you out and all that and make fun of you for your weight and stuff. But Brad's gonna have another thing coming when I drop 100 pounds. And also, I will knock you out, buddy. Be prepared to lose. And with all that being said, guys, let's just get right into the weigh-in right now. See how much weight I've lost in the past week. So I just weighed in for the first time in seven days, guys, and I lost 3.4 pounds. And usually they tell you like two pounds max in a week, but 3.4 pounds for me, that's almost four pounds in a week. I'm very happy about that. That's like almost doing three miles every day, eating right. Like, Jess, dude, what do you have to actually say about I'm, that? I'm actually eating my word. I'm surprised, dude. Like he was saying, like recommended too. But this dude got 3.4, so clearly he's pushing his body to the max. 
not only that, but like I've been seeing his posts on Twitter. I've been seeing he's been saying what he's been eating. And I've been sending you like videos too after certain workouts where you see like I'm dripping sweat. So I, we just recorded it. We got one more week. It's interesting. Like I, I noticed a change when he took off his shirt and also like his legs seemed to be developing some muscle. So like he could have lost more fat than that and developed some muscle to counteract the weight. So we might see some faster burn rates in the coming weeks just because he's, his muscle is going to be consuming more and more calories for him. So. This is only going to get better from here, folks. <laughs> yeah, and, like, guys, the one thing I do want to say is, like, I remember before I started this journey, I was like, there's no way I'm going to be able to lose weight. I've always been overweight and all this stuff, and that's what I thought in my head. But then I look back at photos from, like, 2009. It's up here on the screen right now. It's me and my friend Billy. He's a drummer for the band called The Rex, actually, that's very popular. I never realized how skinny I actually was back then. So it's all a mind thing where I always thought I was always fat and all this stuff, and you know what? I ended up building myself to be be what I always thought I was but now guys I'm gonna start thinking I'm skinny and uh, I'm gonna just drop and keep melting that weight so thank you guys all so much for the support on this weight loss journey I just I really appreciate it